Hi, and welcome back to Exploring with Emma and Stu. And today we are here just west of Dover to a place called Farthing Low, I do believe. And we are pretty much as high as you can get in that area, aren't Literally, we? Literally, we have just climbed this terrain yeah, just to get to the top of it. Almost as high as the Western Heights. Perfect location for a World War II gun battery, of course, and that's what we're going to be taking you for a little look around today. And this is a vast gun battery. We might not get into some places, we might do. We're going to go and have a look. So let's go and have a little bit of a tour, shall we? Yep. So this heavy anti-aircraft battery is very typical of what we see all over the country with the full gun emplacement layout, a central command post, which we'll take you for a look in a little while. The gun emplacements are surrounded by these expense magazines where the shells would have been stored, ready to stick straight into the gun, which would have been in the center. And here you can actually see all the hole fasts very clear on this one. This would have been a 3.7 inch gun. Again, very typical of what we see in these World War II heavy anti-aircraft batteries. Again, more magazines here, quite large actually. It's nice to see some of the original uh, metal. Don't always see this, but uh, but yeah, like I said, there's four of these. We'll maybe take you for a little look and some more of them. So Emma, uh, we've actually come down to the uh, the battery. You've just shown us the the gun lockers or the ammunition store yeah. with the seals and all that lot. That's quite cool. We've actually seen something like this quite recently at Lound. Yes, yeah, well, a few weeks ago we, we put out one almost identical to this actually at Lound, wasn't it? Hmm. Um, but they all have like a different type of configuration with their magazines and their cruise shelters. Now this one has actually got a completely separate, um, I'm not sure if it's a cruise shelter or it's a magazine, we've not taken a look yet. Um, it looks like two gun emplacements share one, so there's, there's two separate type of magazines. And so. didn't we use, actually see that at Chavel Heath? Uh, we did a video on that place. We had this, the same sort of a design, didn't I would it? say that this is probably very similar to what we saw at Chavel Heath. Yeah. So, um, but again, we've not had a look yet, so I'm quite excited mm. to get down there. But we are interested, so I think it's a really good idea, and we'll follow Emma yeah. down to these little uh, gun storage. See what we can find. Yeah, absolutely. So here we have that gun emplacement just here on my right and just down here connecting the two gun emplacements together is a semi-sunken magazine. Now we have seen these before, we don't always, sometimes they're actually built into the gun emplacement but this one is quite impressive because it's actually connecting the two gun emplacements like I said. Concrete structure, they always are, um, usually trees growing out of them, that's quite common. As you can see here we've had this massive big heavy probably a steel door i should think just for a bit of protection and um, there may be some crew sh uh, sheltered parts in there i'm not too sure but we'll go and have a look and then we'll see right so we're in the first room uh, so we're going to have a look around and the first thing we will find is like a ventilation yeah, yeah shaft. i imagine this is just a ventilation hall isn't it we always find them in these we, places we absolutely do yeah these are just like small little rooms they're all identical aren't they i believe these are magazines these are magazines without a doubt yeah. um there's no comforts this is quite impressive look that looks like it's a, actually a, battleship. a ship i wonder if that's original i don't think that's actually a being fishy. yeah it might be original mm, maybe. but obviously people come down here to drink i mean they've come all the way up the hill to have a drink i don't know really drink when you get up that hill absolutely <laughs> but anyway it's not much to see but i'll tell you what there is there's this now i'm, I'm sort of scooting around Emma because we're in a tight square yeah nice. but this here is a checkboard not a check board as in playing checks, it's a check board checklist yeah. board. But there is one of those that is very, very clear and we're gonna be looking at it in a second. But again, here we go, magazine store. Yeah. Um, if it didn't have all the rubbish in it and everything else, it'd look really good, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Um, another great feature is the window frames. All the metal window frames are still here, which is really quite impressive actually, yeah. considering they ripped the windows off, ripped the doors off, but never took the frames. Yeah. But obviously this is where the outside bit, where Emma just came in. That's and right. again, just the same. we've also got another ventilation. Now this must be having fresh air into where bomb storage is. Yeah, I don't know if they'd have anything over the top of it, some sort of grate. Maybe. There's a high possibility. Yeah, I don't really know. I've never, we've never seen anything. You don't want to be there. dropping matches down here. No, uh, this one's actually quite clear. This one's actually not too bad. It's probably had a fire over this side here. But we haven't got no air yeah. vent in this one. No, but that might be because of the yeah. batch. Now, funny enough, when you mention batches, have a look at this. Yeah. Now, this is really impressive. So this is Bay 2. Yeah. 
and I, I was just literally about to show. Yeah, so we've got so we've got two there. Um, but this is really really impressive. This is like what mark of bomb it was, how many there was, um, what batch number they were. That's that's impressive, and they would have marked obviously here. Now we're not too sure if this is an original one and two. I don't think that is. But it would have been still, short, wouldn't it? Still quite impressive. We've never seen anything like that before. Absolutely not. Not good enough to look at. But again, we've got another bomb storage here. It's slightly different, actually. Yeah. There's and something on, on the wall there. This looks like, oh, this, do you know what? This actually looks like it's been put here because the cracking is falling in. These are supporters, so yeah, they're pulling the wall back. Looks like there was a collapse there once. So there you go. Quite impressive, and there we go. There's a shot all the way down there. Absolutely. Um, but there's another one of these. We might have a quick look, maybe. It'll but go we down have got a command post to go to. Yes, so let's go and have a look at that. Okay. Right, so we've actually arrived at the command post. Yeah, central command post. I would say that every single World War II gun battery had one, didn't it? Yeah. Um, this was the job of basically commanding all the guns and all of that stuff. Yeah. So uh, we'll have a little look. Giving uh, out point, orders. We'll point out a few little features and see if we can uh, guess what some of the rooms used to be used for mm -hmm. when we get inside. So what we've got here is in fact a predictor. Um, there was one at Lound, but we forgot to show you. Here in the centre would have been a pedestal and uh, basically its job was to sort of predict where things were flying and stuff like that. I'm not going to pretend that I'm an expert, but it was certainly a very important part of a command post. And over here would have been the height finder. Again, I imagine that some sort of equipment would have been mounted here. There probably would have been somebody stood here. Again, probably predicting the height of any aircraft that were coming in. But um, you can see them quite clearly here, so that's quite good. But uh, just down here is one of the entrances in, so the command post. So we'll get down there and we'll have a look. So here we are in the command post. Wow, we've actually got some original doors here, or what's left of them. That is really cool. But let's have a look and see what we've got through here. And here we are. I just done, <laughs> did you see how I did that? It's very good, very really good. good. Um, but yeah, um, this is that first room, and uh, obviously there's gullies and everything, electrical gullies. And let's I get think a bit of light on. What we'll do is we'll go have a round and have a look. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, I would imagine, and again, I'm no expert, but I think that this is probably the plotting room. It's a slightly different layout to what we've seen in other places, but it's got these, the features are the same with the gullies. Uh, they would have had electrics and things in these. Obviously, they've been filled up with soil and that over the years. But I think this was probably the plotting room. Only a small one. Up here would have been another way out. They would have had like an emergency way out. Um, we've got some ventilation bits and pieces there. There was obviously things mounted here. Um, now we're just sort of pointing out what we can see really. This is quite unusual. Look at this sort of rounded piece of concrete. That isn't a shape that we ever normally see. No, it's like a blocked up. Is that a blocked up door? No, it's not, is it? It's just where the plaster's come off. Uh, I don't know though, because it's been cut. It's been cut very clearly. Mm, I don't know. Um, you can see a little bit of remnants of green paint there. I imagine this would have been green paint on the bottom. Actually, the camera picks it up quite nicely where the differentiation yeah. between the yellow. It's like they might have painted over it. Mm. Uh, yeah, a lot of the plaster's fallen off. Um, something actually, if you just look at the back there, there was something mounted on there at some point. Probably cupboards. Mm -hmm. Plotting equipment, we'll call oh, it. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, I think that was probably just a door or something, yeah, window. Okay, let's have a look in the next room, shall we, where yeah. these magnificent steel doors still are. Yeah, that's I quite cool. That's cool. Let's have a look, shall we? Obviously, try not to touch them enough. I don't want to break them, he says. Gosh. Well, these would have also had like telephone rooms, they would have had offices. Uh, I mean, this could have been either of them, really. I don't know if we can see anything obvious on the walls here. An emergency way in. <laughs> Or out, should I say? Look at the green paint here, though. Look, it's really clear there. It looks like they would have had shelves and things on the walls. I imagine all sorts of uh, fuse boxes and stuff would have probably been there. That's all. That is actually got the ventilation um, 
thing on it still. That's quite cool. Lovely bit of peely paint. We do love that. But um, unfortunately, there is a bit more to this, but that's collapsed. But we'll try and take you for a little look at it, yeah, won't we? Yeah, I think we will. Yeah, definitely. The command post consisted of a hell of a lot more than just these two little areas. Normally. Absolutely. So. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll go to our next part. I think we're going to be going down to the... There's a cruise shell here, apparently. Shell We've not found that yet. Oh, so. we're going to have a look for yeah. it. And that's what exploring is all about. So we're going to go and have a look. So we'll see you on the next part of the site. So like I was saying, that this site was actually a little bit bigger than what we've just been in. As you can see here, we've got this what a great big collapsed roof, which um, if I just look in there, it does look as if it was quite a substantial building. Uh, again, you know, could have been offices, part of the plotting rooms, all sorts of bits and pieces, maybe even some crew sections. But uh, obviously, this one's been lost. But like I said, we're going to get over there and have a look and see if we can find this crew shelter, uh, which I'm quite excited about. So uh, let's go and have a look. Okay, so we're coming round coming round where there have been massive doors should have been on there obviously been stolen yeah. scrapped years ago wow this is actually clean it's like it's been swept well, somebody's had a clean up surely <laughs> it wasn't me for a it, change <laughs> should it be this clean i don't know it seems always strange doesn't it but i mean obviously the normal graffiti yeah. is, is apparent yeah, yeah but There it is. This is the most impressive part, which is literally the outside. And as you see there, there's the original window okay. frames. These have got massive, big hinges on them. These would have been some substantial windows. So maybe that's that makes up for the fact that it's not semi-sunken or any sort of blast walls like we normally see. Um, but if we take a little walk along here, trying to avoid the sun, uh, there is a little room or something around here. So oh, let's have a look. Follow me, and I'll show you. Here we go. And free guess is what that is. Oh, I reckon that might have been a chemical toilet. Very likely. That's a little miniature ablution area. So at least they had somewhere to um, spend a penny. Again, great big glass door. Uh, would have been chemical. There's no pipes or anything here. Is the there? actual original welded hinges are still on there. Mm -hmm. And that was actually ripped off its, own, its actual ball hinges. Wow. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, that's just about it. There's one or two other little bits and pieces around here. We may or may not show you if we walk past but uh, if not we'll get going and we'll say goodbye right so we're actually completed this rather interesting gun battle yeah it's been quite an impressive one hasn't it here at, yeah. at farthing ho i do believe this is yeah called. and this was a world war ii uh that wasn't adapted it was built straight from yeah from where it where That's it stood it. so I'm, I'm sure there's plenty more history on it um, but I'm not overly sure about the detailed history, but no. still, I mean, they're all very, very similar, really. This was used um, to, as was it Operation, what did I say? Operations. Um, I'll put the name at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I think that's Something a lot Something to do easier. with V1 Bombers, Diver, Operation Diver. Diver, gotcha. Against the V1 Bombers. That's um, it. That's about the only history that I know, unfortunately, <laughs> but, you know, got to but chuck a bit in there. That's <laughs> it. So we're at Dover. And we're going to be heading to our next project. As the sun's going down, we're going to try and catch the light. Yeah. So we'll see you again next week. So right. have some exploring with Emma Stu. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you again. Bye-bye.